Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Aquarius for January 2013. Um, January starts out with Mars in your first house, so if you have a New Year's resolution to have better health, more exercise, lose weight, then you have a tremendous amount of energy for two months, so that will be for January and February, to reshape your body um, and focus on your, your physical body, um, making diet changes, um, anything having to do with your physical body. You could also need more exercise, period. So if you find you're a little bit more rambunctious or you're thinking more than usual, it's possible that you need more physical energy. I see this a lot in children. Some children have this placement that you have for these two months. They have this in their chart all the time, and some adults do. I look at a lot of kids' charts. Um, so when children have this placement, they need to have more physical energy than other children do, or, or more physical um, exercise than other children do. And if they don't do that, then the behavioral troubles start. And this could be for adults, too. <laughs> I think everybody acts up a little bit when they're not getting the type of physical exercise that they need. Um, so harness that. And, uh, it's really cool that it's happening just as the new year starts because a lot of people feel momentum at that time of year to do something new and different with their diet. Um, it's also a really good matchup that the sun is continuing to transit through your 12th house. That is the house of your unconscious. And very often there are unconscious, subconscious belief systems that are wrapped around health and physicality and exercise and eating habits. So you have really good simultaneous energy to, um, to uncover the deeply rooted situations that are creating a health problem or for you to carry more weight than you'd like to um, or for you to have certain addictions to foods, um, usually carbohydrates and sugar, um, but I guess caffeine could be another one. Venus is moving through your 11th house um, through all of January and the 11th house rules, among many other things, the social scene. So that could be uh, Facebook or it could be going to a party. Any place there's social um, interactions are different than they used to be. So I have to include those type of social media into anything in the 11th house now. Um, wherever Venus is, it can bring money. So that means that it's really great time to capitalize on doing anything with social media. YouTube is um, a phenomenal way to access people all over the world, and um, as I'm doing right now, which is really great, and you've got a lot of that energy for using things such as YouTube and um, Twitter and those kind of things for your own business or your cause. The 11th house also rules causes, so humanitarian efforts. If you're if you work with a charity or you're helping animals or anything that you do that would be considered good for a group or good for the community. There's a lot of strength of, uh, for having money to fund those things this month and the money could come from you making yourself or your organization as visible as possible. Um, there's also a site, I think it's called GoFundMe, where people are getting funding for their projects. So it looks like that might be good good for you right now, too, for the month of January, especially. Um, let's see what else is going on there. I can't see everything in your chart. Um, oh, one more thing that I want to mention before I go to the end. Mercury is, is about to be moving through your 12th house. Your sun is already there. We talked about that. If you are into um, doing anything with dream work, you've had a couple of months of possibly more active dreams because Mars was moving through there. Now with the Sun and Mercury there, if you're inclined at all to do channeling work or dream work or psychic work, this would be a really good um, time to step into that or deepen that for yourself. You can ask questions to your mind, your subconscious, before you go to sleep, and you can have answers as you arise. You can have dreams that tell stories that are relevant to situations for you. Um, so that, that is continuing to be highlighted for all of January. I always highly recommend an individual reading with me. The things that I can see in your personal chart are nothing sure, uh, short of astounding, really. I've been doing this for 
over 10 years, and I'm, I'm never not surprised at what I can see in personal charts. Um, so you can go to the link below this video to get more information on readings. I also do computer-generated reports, and I'm going to start doing video classes as well. So if you want to learn more about astrology for yourself or to help others, then consider my classes because I know that you'll have information given through them that, um, that is different than other information that you're getting. So I, have a, I hope you have a wonderful January.